Welcome back. So today I want to take you through how to set up a Windows 2022 server to be managed by Ansible. So I've done previous videos on this, but they now seem to be out of date. The documentation has been updated. Those videos no longer are a simple walkthrough. So I thought let's create a new video so you can see in its entirety from start to finish a really simple way of setting up Ansible to work on 2022 server. So if this video is helpful, then just, you know, give me a like put a comment in to say it worked, thanks very much. If it does work or you get a problem, put that in and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. This should be a fairly simple walkthrough, so you should be up and running fairly quickly with Ansible and Windows. Let's get on with it. The first thing we're going to do is build a completely new 2022 server, and um, we'll do that now. In AWS, so this is my setup. Obviously, it might be the same for you or different, but just get yourself Windows 2022 server. And that is, and then that's all I want. Windows 2022 base. Don't need anything special. Pick my key. Um, that's it. The rest is just temporary use. This won't be around very long. This server. Let's go back to EC2. So this server here is Ansible development. That's where I am now. That's what I'm logged into. This is the code I'm going to use. There's not a lot to it. This is the host file with all the settings that we need. So I'm going to need to add in the server name once I know what it's going to be, and I need to add in the password. And all of these other settings will stay exactly as they are. Okay, let's update. Okay, so it's now running. Now it can take a couple of minutes just to make a connection. Yeah, so if I try and get the password, it says you need to give it a few minutes before you can. So Okay, so we're ready to put the key in. I'm just going to quickly do this off screen. Okay. And this is what you'd see if you were using AWS. So you've got your public DNS, you've got your password. But this server is only going to be around for the duration of this um, exercise. So we can now start updating the password. And then let's get the server name. I'm going to use the internal name because I'm already in the same sort of area in AWS. So I'm going to use the internal, not the public. So let's just go back to EC2. Look at our running instances, give it a tick, and then it brings up the server information. So I just want this private DNS here. That's it. Okay, and there it is. So one thing I'm going to come back to is setting up the firewall rule. Now I'm just going to log into the server now that we have the password. I'm just going to write desktop on, and then hopefully this will work. So one thing I'm going to need is my public. DNS. So now let's go to remote desktop. The naming. Sorry, I always add the administrator account. Spell that right. Now log in. Now we just grab this password. As long, you can see it's pretty simple stuff. I'm not doing anything amazing. This is now going to start up the Windows server. This will take a few minutes. Again, always through this, so you don't have to watch what's happening. So that's starting up now. These are some of the commands that we're going to run today. That's looking good. So there is a script that you can run and download if you want to. This script is provided by the people that run Ansible. Um, or you can just run the commands I'm going to give you. It's, it's a very similar thing. Um, it's not the most secure setup. It's purely a lab environment for you to try it out. Um, you need to do something a little bit more complicated if you're going to be using this in production. You can set it up um, in a similar way, but you, you start WinRM using your certificate. Let's move these out. Let's have a look at the app and running. Let's start the PowerShell. I want to start the PowerShell as administrator. But it's a little bit slow. It's not the fastest in the world. It's only a T2 micro, so it hasn't got very many resources. Let's start it up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run all these commands. I'm going to run them in one go because I can. Um, we're going to enable PowerShell. We're going to set up the service. And set it to automatic. We're going to configure WinRM. And we're going to create a self-signed certificate because you can't start a listener without having a uh, certificate associated with it. And that's where it comes in where you can actually add your own certificate instead at that point, and then it's OK. We're going to create a firewall rule. We're going to configure the trusted hosts. We're going to set local account token. We're going to set the execution policy. We're going to restart WinRM. Then we're going to just check and see if it's listing okay. 
and that's it so i'll provide these in the description literally just run them once this is finished we're going to do a wing ping confirm and check that we can connect to the server once you do a wing ping it confirms the connectivity and the authentication so you've done two tests in once then i'm going to run a quick playbook just to show you that you can create a simple directory and add a file and use an ansible fact in windows and you'll get to see that it's nice and simple okay so that's it it's done now if we go back to our control node now we're ready to run wing ping in ansible against our server here we go so we're going to run ansible and then we're going to take the adventure file we're going to run it against the servers in the wind group and then we're going to run run a send wind ping okay let's see what happens we should if it all works get a pong back so you've seen this you've seen what i've done you've got access to the commands this is exactly what should happen So what we need to do is actually finish up setting the firewall. So if I come back out, go into EC2, select my server, go under actions, security, change security groups. I already have a group set up. I've been with RM. You can see that we're going to add this group, add the security group, save it. When we come back in here, we check under the security tab. Okay, we can see that we've got the wing ping here. We've got it for IPv6 and IPv4. Just adds it. I you could just add it for one, but I've added it for both. And now we come back here and we try again. Now with the port open, we should be able to connect. We should get a wing ping, and we can carry on. I always leave these errors in. It's good to see this stuff because this is what happens in real life. And for you to just see a, a start to end, you know, run of no errors, you know, but then you hit one, it's like, well, how you know what's happened? I don't understand. So anyway. This hopefully makes it a bit clearer so we can now see that we've got a ping pong so we've tested connectivity we've tested authentication and we're ready to go so now i've got, I've got a new playbook here to run just called windows.yaml what it's going to do is connect to the windows servers it's going to create a directory it's going to add a file to it and then we're going to make the contents of that file it's ginger 2 file locally then we're just going to do an md5 checksum and you'll see that run so now we can change we'll do ansible playbook minus i hosts now we're just going to give it the playbook name because all the credentials are in host file so we don't have to do anything else this will go off to our server you know it will connect because wing ping was successful and it will create those files that directory and it will update the contents of the file and give us the md5 checksum so nice and simple while this is running ways to extend this in the future would be to add would be to remove the password from the host file and the inventory file and set it up as a secret and that's quite say, straightforward I've, I've do that in other videos but if you need me to maybe do another video on that then just give us a shout so now i'm looking back on the server let's just go into the folders and see what we've got and we go to this pc local drives we can see the temp directory we can see the folder and in fact you can see the start time is literally just just created and if we have a look in here we can see that hi the server is called and then the server name and if we come back over here i can show you that foo file that's exactly what we asked it to do there you go so from scratch we've set up a windows 2022 server to be managed by ansible we've done the credentials we've added all the settings and we're now running playbooks so hopefully it will be as easy as that for you to set up if you've got any questions drop them in the comments um like the video you know any questions just let me know that's all. Well, thank you very much for that, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.